Ryan here with Potential Pest Solutions, and I'm gonna show you a product that we use to keep animals out from underneath sheds, decks, porches, and other structures. So in addition to hardware cloth, we also use dig defense. And you can see here, this is a four foot long section. So it's four feet long, it's 15 inches deep, and this is thick gauge, thick gauge steel. Okay, so this is not just some flimsy little garden trellis. This is something that's going to keep out things like groundhogs, skunks, um, any of your bigger animals that are going to dig and get underneath porches and decks and, and sheds and that sort of thing. You can see here, you can't bend it. I mean, this is thick gauge metal. So how do you get this actually into the ground? Well, I'm going to show you here, but the tools that we use, we use a special, this special tool here which sits on top, it sits on top of the dig defense. So if this is going in, it sits on top. And then we just use a simple uh, post hole driver or a post driver, I should say, over top of that and kind of slam it home. Now you're not just gonna be able to cut this with a simple pair of uh, shears or, uh, or, or metal snips or something like that. The only way to really cut this is to use bolt cutters. All right, that's how thick this is. So when we put this into the ground, not only is it gonna be in there for, for, for life and it's not gonna rust or anything like that, but it's gonna keep these animals out because this is thick gauge metal that's gonna keep them out. And this is called dig defense. So let's see how it actually looks. So we can see here, this is the dig defense before it's actually installed into the ground. And you can see that it's 15 inches above the crushed gravel here and in the middle there you can see where the groundhogs were coming in here's our tools we have our post driver we have our installation tools some bolt cutters and a shovel and we're going to get ready to install this and i'm going to show you how we do that so the first thing you're going to want to do is place that that dig defense uh, on the edge there kind of i kind of tap it in with a hammer just so it's a little bit sturdier and then we have our post hole driver, or our post driver, I should say, on top of our dig defense installation tool. And all you do is you just put it right into the slot there and you're just gonna slam it, slam the post driver onto the installation tool to really start driving into the ground. And you'll see that it, it, it starts going in pretty easily um, with the right tools here. So one thing that you gotta watch out for, if there's rocks or something like that, that you're gonna, you're gonna see the dig defense kind of bend out a little bit and you can actually um, trim it so that it'll go around the stones and sit flush. And we can see that we got that flush to the bottom on the left there uh, underneath the siding. Now, that was for a shed. Our next thing we're gonna show you here is on a deck. So this deck is elevated about five or six inches off the ground. And this dig defense is beautiful for this, for this uh, application because if you were to use hardware cloth or something like that, there would really be some bending. It wouldn't look as nice and it wouldn't look as neat. So um, we use this dig defense on this deck here. So at this property, they were getting skunks and groundhogs and rabbits underneath their deck and they were just tired of seeing that. So with the dig defense here, we installed it right at the edge. It covers up that gap and then it, obviously it embeds into the ground about six to eight inches so that nothing's gonna dig underneath that. And then if you don't like the look of it, even though this sits pretty flush and no one would really notice it, you could always put something like lattice um, or something decorative over top of that to just hide it. But you can see just how tight that is there. I mean, you're not pulling that out of the ground um, without using tools or some some great effort. So that's what it looks like when it's installed. And 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 that really chewed up that that gap between the deck and the ground. Um, and we can see here even that there wasn't that much of a gap, but we just don't, we don't want anything digging under there. So we're just going to do the entire perimeter of the shed or the fence or the, the porch or the deck. So remember, anybody with a trap can remove an animal from underneath your structures, but we at Prudential Pest Solutions have the equipment, the tools, and the materials to keep animals and wildlife out. So if you have a wildlife issue, or if you just want to talk about keeping animals out from underneath your structures, give Prudential Pest Solutions a call at 484 401-4361. If you like our videos, make sure that you slam that subscribe button so you can see all of our great wildlife and pest control content.